There's a new king of open source. It comes from Mosaic ML and it's called MPT30B. It's an open source model licensed for commercial use and it outperforms GPT-3. It's trained on NVIDIA H100s and has a context length of 8,000 tokens, which is more than most open source models. On this episode of AI Focus, we break down what makes this model tick, including its instruct and chat fine-tuned versions. Then I'll test out the demo on Hugging Face and see just how good the chat version of the model is for myself. Let's get the show on the road. Mosaic ML is the creator of the MPT family of models. It stands for Mosaic Pre-Trained Transformer and is a GPT-style decoder-only transformer known for its higher speed, greater stability, and higher context lengths. If you're unaware, previously, Mosaic ML released the MPT-7B model, and its fine-tuned variations have been downloaded over 3 million times. In a previous video, I showed how the MPT-7B Story Writer model was able to take in around 60k tokens of The Great Gatsby and generate an epilogue for the story in the same length. I'll link to that video at the end of this one. Their blog post goes on to say, We've been overwhelmed by what the community has built with MPT-7B. To highlight a few, Lava MPT adds vision understanding to MPT. GGML optimizes MPT on Apple Silicon and CPUs, and GPT for All lets you run a GPT-4 like chatbot on your laptop using MPT as the backend model. Now, Mosaic ML has blessed us with MPT-30B, along with two fine-tuned variants, MPT-30B Instruct and MPT-30B Chat which are made for single-turn instruction following and multi-turn conversations respectively. So let's get into what separates Mosaic's new model from the competition. Of course, there's the 8,000 token context length that can be made even longer thanks to Alibi, just like with the MPT-7B Story Writer. The training and inference time are fast thanks to flash attention, and its coding abilities are formidable thanks to pre-training data. But most notably, this is the first open source model trained on the NVIDIA H100s. Yes, an open source model trained on the best of the best. Also, its size makes it possible to run on just one GPU. Here are the specs if you're interested. The Falcon 40B model is comparable to the MPT30B, but it requires two GPUs to run, which increases cost. All right, let's get into each model right now, starting with the MPT30B base model. This is an open source foundational model that's better than GPT-3 and is competitive with Falcon 40B and Llama 30B. It was trained on its publicly available LLM Foundry code base over the course of two months with the H100s being a part of the process, as mentioned earlier. While Llama and Falcon 40B have context lengths that only reach up to 2,000 tokens, MPT-30B was trained for an 8,000 token length by first training on 1 trillion tokens using sequences that were 2,000 tokens long. Then it continued training on 50 billion tokens that were made up of sequences that were 8,000 tokens long. Pictured here, you can see the data mix used for the pre-training and it's very similar to the MPT-7B. Speaking of the MPT-7B, Mosaic then measured six core capabilities in order to compare the MPT-30B with the MPT-7B. These six capabilities were programming, systematic problem solving, common sense reasoning, reading comprehension, language understanding, and world knowledge. MPT-30B crushed its predecessor in every category, as seen on the graph. But this next figure shows that when compared to Llama 30B and Falcon 40B, MPT-30B lags behind a bit in text capabilities, which is expected because those other two models have a bigger budget for pre-training. However, the MPT-30B model crushes the other two models in programming, which Mosaic attributes to its pre-training data mix that's rich in code. Look at this table where the researchers compared the human eval score of every MPT-30B model to existing open source models, including ones for code generation. Any coders out there will want to take note that all the MPT-30B models are strong in code and that the MPT-30B chat model outperforms every single model except for wizard coder. So with MPT-30B, you get a top open source coding whiz along with great text capabilities. Not bad. Next here, you can see how MPT-30B outperforms GPT-3 on the metrics from the GPT-3 paper. The folks at Mosaic are proud to achieve this with just 17% of GPT-3's parameters and way less training compute. This is not only an impressive achievement, 
It's a clear indication of how far model training has come in such a short time and a reminder of how far it will go in the near future. Now let's move to the MPT-30B Instruct model. As you may know, instruction fine tuning is the process of training LLMs to follow instructions. It's useful because it reduces the need for a user to know clever prompt engineering tricks in order to get the best out of a model. Well, Mosaic ML now introduces the MPT-30B Instruct model trained on data from sources like Anthropic, DALI, and other open source datasets like Spider and Grade School Math. The last model is MPT-30B Chat, which is the conversational version of the model. It was fine-tuned on a lot of chat datasets, composed of 1.54 billion tokens, and uses the chat ML format, which prevents malicious prompt injection. It's not meant for commercial use, but Mosaic says it demonstrates the power of MPT-30B when combined with large high-quality fine-tuned datasets. Before we move on to the demo, if you're enjoying this content and want to stay updated on all the latest AI news, please feel free to subscribe to the channel. Now back to the video. Now let's see how well the chat mode actually works in practice. Here I have the demo for the MPT-30B chat on a hugging face loaded up and I'm going to run it through a series of tests. Below the text entry bar is an ability to change the system prompt, which is pretty cool. The default setting is an assistant that gives helpful and honest answers. Occasionally I'll change the system prompt to explain things to me like a fifth grader to see how well it does. So let's go with our first test. The first thing I'm gonna do is ask it to generate code for the game Tetris. The result it gives me is part of a code for a Tetris game, but if you ask ChatGPT for the same task, it gives you a full Python code for a game of Tetris. If you tell MPT-30B that only a portion of the code was given, it apologizes and still gives the same portion of code. Well, as this model is supposed to be the second best open source model for coding, I'm disappointed, and this mode does not pass the coding test for me though it's better than any other open source model other than Wizard Coder. Next, I'll ask it to summarize this passage I've found on the internet about the theory of special relativity. No idea how many tokens this is, but I just want to see how it does. I'm also going to change the system prompt. It summarizes the passage pretty well, and it's talking in a very understandable manner, so that's a pass. Next, I'll ask it to write a 50-word poem filled with alliteration using the letter M. The result is definitely not a 50 word poem, and the entire thing uses alliteration, which is not what I really meant. Let's see if it can write a 50 word poem, period. Okay, it can. Now let's see if it can write a 50 word poem about toilets. It has created a poem, which is quite funny, but it's not exactly 50 words, so I'll give it a B. Next, let's try simple math. Okay, pass. Now let's try a harder equation. Find x plus y if 5x plus 8y equals 67 and 2x minus y equals 31. It gives an answer after showing its work and it's 70, which is incorrect. The answer is actually 14, according to ChatGPT. Hmm, here's an F. All right, let's try an analogy. Odometer is to mileage as compass is to, and it answers direction, which is correct. Let's try logical reasoning. Blueberries cost more than strawberries. Blueberries cost less than raspberries. Raspberries cost more than strawberries and blueberries. If the first two statements are true, the third statement is, and it answers false along with its reasoning. And the answer along with its reasoning is definitely wrong. The answer is true. Wow, how disappointing. All right, let's try a simple fact. Name the president in 1989. It gives George H.W. Bush as the answer, and that is correct. You can use Mosaic's inference software stack to serve these models on Mosaic hardware or your own private hardware. Those who want to use the model in production have several options. You can customize MPT-30B with your private data by fine-tuning or training from scratch, all while your data remains private and you retain ownership of the final model. There are two ways to go about this, depending on your preference. With the starter tier, you can use the model's API to build your own apps and the cost will be four times cheaper than OpenAI's API with comparable quality as seen here. Or if you want to maximize cost efficiency, model accuracy, and keep your data private, the enterprise tier is for you. Here you can deploy any fine-tuned model in your own virtual cloud and it's priced per GPU minute rather than token, which is what makes it cost efficient. Most notably, there is no premium cost for custom models, unlike OpenAI, who charges a six times premium fee for fine-tuned models. 
And that's that for that because I'm starting to feel like this is an ad. The MPT-30B series is definitely something to write home about. The MPT-30B chat model on the other hand may be better than your average open source chat model, but we still have a long way to go when we talk about room for improvement. Open source models keep one-upping each other and I'm here for it. Do you think we'll see a day where open source models can compete with the best OpenAI has to offer? Or does OpenAI just have the secret sauce that no one else will be able to figure out? Let me know in the comments. Click that video on the screen to see the MPT-7B story writer model that wrote an entire epilogue to The Great Gatsby. And thanks for visiting AI Focus.